basically what I'm trying to cover is introduction to the 3D stuff and the different stereo display technologies that exist and then generate a family tree and the key issue is or the focus of this discussion is on testing procedure but there are so many categories or types of uh, 3D that we have to group them into groups so that each group has a different testing procedures or different testing focus. And then we will talk about the testing and all the rest. A key issue in uh, 3D systems is the effect, the optical effect that each eye view the, the world with slightly different orientation. And if we look on the right on the line of uh, of the, uh, how do you call those? Uh, ball. uh, the balls, not the balls, how do you call Pins. It? Pins. Uh, the left eye will see them like the left picture that you see here, the right slightly different orientation and actually the mind connect the two and generate the stereopsis effect. Uh, we have to remember that when I talk about left channel and right channel, uh, different systems have different driving. For instance, uh, the panels that we use have two panels and each, each one gets directly the signals. So uh, we can say that it's a uh, top bottom like the example that you have there. But basically in this case, we don't need electronic to separate between the signals unless they come scrambled in different, in different mode. But uh, the driving has to fit the configuration of the panel. Another example is here, when you have the Arisawa method or X-Pol, it's called in the literature for cross polarization. You have one line with one orientation, the other with another. So you have to scramble the signal so that each uh, odd line will get one image and even line will get the other image. So I'm just mentioning the driving issue, which is a topic, a big topic by itself, but we just have to remember not to forget about it. Now, uh, there are basically for the user point of view, there are two major categories. And the categories are stereo with glasses and without glasses. So if you go, if you are layman, if you don't know about stereo, you always ask, ah, stereo, or I should have my glasses for that. Or you would like to have uh, systems that don't use glasses because uh, it's more convenient and more flexible. So under the stereo with glasses, you have categories like anaglyph, polarizers, different type of polarizers, circular and linear polarization, and you have the shutter glasses. Under the stereo without glasses, you have special multiplexing, meaning that you have lenticular lens or burial le lens. Then you have time multiplexed. So that one time, this is a method that 3M, for instance, developed. One time the image is projected to this direction, the other time to this direction. But uh, they flip fast uh, and there is no glasses needed. Displays with eyeglasses. We have to align the system properly. We use filters in front of the light measure device, LMDs for light me measurement device. A test at the designed eye position, some people call it designated eye position, a, meaning when you do the measurement in most cases is a front or normal to the display. And check the head tilt in case you have polarizations that is linear. In our system, uh, we use linear polarization. If your head tilt is few degrees, you lose some of the extension ratio. Uh, in auto stereo with two view or multi view, uh, the categories are very similar, but uh, we need a very high resolution angular uh, scanning device, 
like either a, a, a photometer that is on a rotating uh, axis uh, with that has a very small uh, aperture, or in the case of the chromoscopic camera, we need a camera that has a very high resolution. Uh, we have to find the optimum distance and the viewing freedom uh, during the, these measurements. Now, in time sequential, uh, the se we have to test the shutter glasses separately, and this is very important. Uh, use glasses in front of the light meter device, uh, test at design line position, and check the flicker. And flicker is very important on time behaving systems or shutter glasses. A volumetric and 3D displays, are, it's very generic what I wrote here, but uh, basically we'll come back to this in the near future. Now, in the following uh, four slides, we have a more detailed breakdown of the different categories, and this came out of the discussions that I had with Chris Chinook from uh, Instant Media when he was in charge of the uh, 3D at home group, ST4. And we are trying to correlate that our standards and their maps will match to each other. Uh, so I will not go through this in details, but uh, if you have a copy of the slides, you can look for yourself. If you don't have, later the slides will be posted in the web page, so you will, be, will have access to this. Uh, the next uh, chapter in, in the document, or at the end, includes inspection patterns. Some of the patterns are used for measurements and some are for visual inspection. So these examples that we have black-white or white-black, or green-black, and so on, these are for measurements. This is more for a for visual inspection. So you look on the system with, with this setup that Scott actually put together, and, uh, and Ed now is putting different ones. <laughs> so in the final uh, document, we will not have these ones, but uh, other ones, but same, same idea. Uh, that you see this pattern on the left and this pattern on the right, and they will appear to you side by side when you see it, and you can compare if there is major difference in colors between the two channels at a glance. Then you do measurements. Same here. Uh, this is the whole uh, set that uh, we are using to test our <coughs> stereo display here. The left side of each block here is the left channel or the left eye and the right is the right one. Uh, these are for measurements. The top ones are for alignment. Uh, the color combination with black are for color difference between the channels. And the right ones are mainly for visual inspection. And here is an example of a test setup that we are using to measure a our uh, stereo, and maybe this is schematic, and this makes uh, more pictures. We put uh, the glasses, like you see here, in front of the lens of the LMD, and uh, we check, uh, we take the measurements for the right eye, and then we push the glasses to the other side. Here is a closer view, uh, and we take all the measurements that are related to the left eye. And uh, this is a similar concept uh, when we want to measure the uniformity of nine points or five points. So either uh, you use the all, all the points or you use only the ones that are uh, with different cyan color. And you just move your uh, device on the stage, like the whole apparatus is moving left, right, up and down, and you position yourself in front of the display at different locations. And you do this in order to measure uniformity and color uniformity. 